Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to a brand new video in Spin Tires Mud Runner. Now this one's going to be a little bit different, we're going to be diving into a slightly different style of video than we've done previously in this game, but uh, I want you guys to let me know if you like this style of video and if you do, then we'll definitely uh, continue on with it and we'll make some other similarly styled videos um, if you guys would like to see that. So, basically, what how this is going to work is this house right here. I've just, this is my house, I've just bought this house, it's a little bit on the rough side right now, it's kind of covered in vines, and it's a bit of a fixer-upper, put it that way. So, we brought our Dodge out here, and that little car kind of came with the house, I don't assume the previous owners wanted it, because they left it here. So, what we're gonna do is, and you can see there's already some rocks back there by the side of the house, um, and I'm apparently taking a nap, but we have to run to, we have to run to basically the local stockyard and get some more rocks, um, because we're gonna kind of, you know, use that, we're gonna use those, um, around the house and things like that, but before we, and I know that you're probably saying, well, why are we doing that before we, you know, do some maintenance on the actual house? It's actually, and you know, the house looks, looks pretty rough on the outside, but it's actually, it's just fine on the inside, don't worry about it. But anyways, we're gonna go and pick up some rocks, and I want to show you guys how this works, because it's super cool how they do it on this map. So, we're gonna go ahead and head out of here, and head down the road. We should probably stop for fuel. Um, I'm thinking that that would be a good idea, because, I mean, we have half a tank right now, but I'd rather go ahead and fill up than, you know, wait till the last minute and have to fill up then, so... I'm going to go and pull in, get some fuel... And now, we can just, and the, th the nice thing is, it's a straight shot all the way there. Now, keep in mind, this map is a little bit more of a, you know, it is a little bit more of a testing ground map, but the nice thing is that, you know, not a lot of maps have, like, like, for example, what we're about to, to go to, like a stockyard like this, not a lot of maps have one, so that in itself is, is that, that in itself is enough to make this map usable for more than just testing, so... We can do a little bit of drifting on the way there. I mean, why would we not, you know? So, let's see. Now, the only thing is, once we get there, once we get there, we can go in through the gate, but the only problem is, we can't necessarily leave through the gate. So, it's a little bit strange in that regard, but as you can see, there's a lot of different things here uh, that we can pick up. Now, we'll probably do... Like I said, we're here for these rocks, but we're going to have to park this guy over here. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let him chill right here for a second. Stop the engine. And we're going to grab... You know what? Where's the... Let's see. We need to grab that... Yeah, this New Holland loader. Because this thing... This thing is really the only thing that has an attachment that's usable for picking up rocks. So... And, and the thing is, since we already picked up one load... Everything is a little spread out, and the turning radius on this thing, even though it, like, it's bendy in the middle, eh, the turning radius on this thing is terrible. So, having to, you know, having to to wait for this thing to turn around kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Alright, so, let's go ahead and tilt that loader up a little bit. And that's actually mildly in the ground. Yeah, that's in the ground. That's a little bit too... That's a little bit too low. Alright, that, that might work. If I can get pretty much... That's enough. Sort of. Tilt the bucket up. Oh yeah, that'll work. That'll work, definitely. Alright, let's raise it a little bit. Oh, I didn't want to raise it. I didn't want to put it down. You gotta be careful with this thing, man. Like, it'll be... It'll act weird sometimes, and you just have to get used to the controls. And I think that, like, even with it being bendy in the middle, it's like... It's still got a terrible turning radius. I wish that the, the turning radius on this thing was better. We just gotta line everything up properly. And then... Uh-oh. Well, we're not quite lined up properly. Problem is, the bucket is a little bit longer than the truck bed. And that poses some interest. Let's call them interesting challenges. Set you right about there, and then we can operate the loader. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Now let me see if I can get that last one in there. Yeah, oh, come on, dude. 
ended up falling out right at the end. I'm not going to bother about getting the last one in there. I'm just going to kind of, you know, we're going to turn off the engine uh, in the loader, and we're going to swap back over to the Dodge and drive home again. But this actually also brings us to the next part, which is kind of strange. Since it considers these rocks a, like, a usable, like, like a technically a load, you can't leave through that block post. So you have to use this ramp, which I'm assuming that's what that ramp is there for. But it's still kind of weird, um, in a sense. But the whole objective now, too, is to try and not have these rocks fall out of the back. Because, actually, one of them's sitting in a weird place. They're actually, you can see that they're they're properly heavy, too. They're not weighing us down as much as a trailer would, but they're still weighing us down a little bit, so they're definitely not light. Like I said, though, thankfully, this thing is fast enough to be able to cruise down the highway, no problem. Um, it's a little bit, oh, gotta be careful over that bump so we don't, whoa, so we don't throw those rocks out. But yeah, I mean, and you have this nice interior view to just chill out in. Now, when you're going along, it can get a little bit, um, it can get a little bit weird along the road to where it'll kind of slide around a little bit. But as long as you know how to drive in spin tires, I mean, you'll be fine, like in Mud Runner and the spin tires physics system. So we're going to go ahead and get back to the house real quick. And make a left right here. And we should be able to set these right by the side of the house. Now, the big thing with these is the fact that you can't really, I mean, th there's no dump bed on this truck, so you have to be a little bit creative with how you unload, but it, how you unload is actually kind of interesting, because, put it this way, they're in there, they're, they're in there in the back, and then all I'm gonna do is just get out of the truck, and then, um, and just unload them myself. And now, as you can see, the rocks are unloaded, so I think we'll probably grab, we'll probably grab one more load of rocks, and then, well, actually, you know what, I need to go back and see if there's enough for another load. There probably is. There probably is. I didn't really, I didn't really look. I think there's, I mean, I know there's a few left, but I don't know if there's enough for, like, a full load to bring back to the house. And I think, too, you know, going along, I, I want to bring more stuff back there to the house. I'm just not sure what my plans are with that, because, I mean, you can bring all the rocks you want, but at the end of the day, you have to have something to do with them, and right now, they're just accumulating in a pile, so they, they don't exactly have a, a, a place yet. And I think that, like, I think we'll figure something out in terms of, like, placement for those. Wow, that tree glitched and then, and then like, pulled us. That was weird. That was, like, super awkward, actually. I was, like, I was really worried the truck was going to, like, shoot in the air or something. Just, you know, just typical mud runner things. All right, let's head back in here real quick. And let's see. How many? I mean, yeah, we've got enough for one more load. One more load of rocks, and then we should be good to go. We'll swap over to this loader real quick. We're just going to have to kind of like move them all into one specific area. The weird one is those stumps. Like, I don't know why you would... I don't know why you would have stumps at like a stockyard. But, I mean, I guess, you know, to each their own if that's what they want. Let me make sure. Okay, yeah, that should be fine. Try to get most of them into place. I don't know if... Yeah, I don't know if I can get... See, that's the thing, is they're so spread out. They're so, so spread out that they... They end up being... Hmm. They end up being in such as, like... Such a weird spot that it's hard to pick them up. I wonder if... No, that's kind of... That's kind of weird. Oh, I mean, we got some of them. We may have to make multiple trips this time. Just because the... Like, just because the placement of those last few rocks is kind of weird. All right, we'll get over here and get these things loaded up. And let's raise that as high as we can get it pretty much. That should be that should be perfect. Yep, good. All right. So, one more to Oh god. <laughs> I'm not like I don't I completely have the movement of this thing memorized yet. So, couple more t well, maybe maybe just one more 
one more actual, like, bucket full. But I, I don't know if that's enough. This stray one over here, I'm going to put try to push it back. There we go. Try and push that one back. Because it's... Uh-oh. Did I run over it? I did. Yeah. I ran over it because the loader was not far enough down. That should be fine. Yeah, I was going to say that... Uh-oh. Nope. You have to have a stupid aggressive angle on it then. There, that works. Oh god, a couple of them are stuck. That's... That's no good. I wonder if these three would be usable. Like, I wonder if I can get these three. I mean, they're just kind of... Oh, they're just kind of sitting there. Let's see if I can kind of get a... Oh, boy. And drive forward, maybe? They're just so, like, they're so dedicated to being right up against that fence that, yeah, I don't know if that's possible, dude. Like, it, it's it's weird because it's hard to, it's so hard to get those, actually, you know what might work? You know what might work is if I go over them like that, and then... I didn't want to raise that, but tilt the bucket down, and then maybe back, eh, still doesn't really work the way I was intending it to. Now that might, still no, it's like, it's so, it's so iffy, like, I think we're going to have to get then we're gonna have to get a, a different load of uh, a different load of stuff before we head out. Well, if we're gonna take one last thing back over there to the house, we have to figure out what it's gonna be. And I figure, I'm not sure what I want to use. Um, what are these? I don't think we can. I guess they're pallets, maybe. You know what? We might actually be able to do something with those. And I wonder if. Let's see. Oh, crap. Oh, God. Where is the... Oh, we'll switch to the Dodge. Oh, the Dodge already has, like, some rocks in it, so we might be able to... We might be able to put a couple of, like, a couple little different things in here, because they're... It's... The bed is not full. I wonder if we can get some of those pallets in here with it. Because, like, the spot that they're actually being kept is not wide enough... For that loader to get the to get its bucket into, but this I don't know if it'll work. And let's see if oh why did it oh, I didn't even realize I shifted into high. All right, uh, crane grab. Oh my god, oh my god, that is gonna take so long. Hmm, yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> That's not gonna work. Okay. Um, you know what? We'll just you know what? We'll probably just run these rocks back to the house and then after that we'll we'll do another we'll do some more trips um back and forth where we actually haul like different things because I feel like if we start trying to throw a bunch of different things in the back of this truck, it's gonna get either real muddled real quick or like real unstable and stuff's gonna fly out. So we gonna ha we're gonna have to figure something out in terms of oh my god I really hope we don't flip when you start sliding like it looks cool but the way this the way the physics system works in this game it's really easy for a tire to get caught on something specifically the ground and in turn flip the truck over and you lose everything that's in the back and and you know and so forth and so on and then you're mad and then you're sad and then it you know and then it's just you just wish you hadn't done such a thing. So, that that in itself is, uh, is 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 enough reason to just be a little bit careful. So, regardless of that, though, we're here, 
And I'm thinking that we're probably gonna just, yeah, I'll just drop these off, and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do with them later. But, um, or, I mean, we're definitely gonna do something, like, in regards to the house with these. I'm just not sure I, I what I want to do with them. So, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, then don't forget to click that like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you enjoyed this slightly different approach to Mudrunner, where it's sort of, it's hauling, but it's a little bit more on a realistic side, where it's things that you would actually be doing. Like, if you bought a house in the wilderness and you were t kind of, like, going to town and getting, you know, getting things for, like, around the house, or you were, like, developing a property, that kind of stuff, um, if you, if you like that kind of a video, then let me know, and I will see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.